In this tutorial, I will show you three ways in which you can reverse the playback of a video clip in DaVinci Resolve 18.0.1 to create a basic rewind effect. Inside my project's edit window, the first technique can be applied by right-clicking on the relevant video clip and selecting Change Clip Speed. This is a preview of my original video clip playing at normal speed. Simply set the speed value to a negative one. Here in this example, as I apply the speed of minus 100, the video will play in reverse at its normal velocity. If I set the speed to minus 200 on the other hand and click change, the edit on the timeline shortens as the rewind effect is completed quicker. For the second technique, if you right click on your video clip and select retime curve, you should have a line appearing underneath your video edit Dragging the bottom left point on the line upwards will result in slower playback. If you invert the retime frame points completely on the other hand, by dragging the left sided one up to the top left corner and the right sided point to the bottom right corner, the clip will now play in reverse at normal speed. To slow the reversal down, simply drag the retime frame point on the right upwards. Bear in mind with this slower reverse effect that the whole video clip will not show as the duration of the edit remains the same. To close the retime curve setting, simply click on the white symbol which appears in the bottom right corner of your edit. For the third and final rewind technique, I'm going to use the selection mode tool to drag the red playhead to the 7 second mark over my 10 second video clip. If I now right click on the video edit and go to select retime controls, which you can also do by holding Ctrl or Command if you're a Mac user and pressing R, you have a set of arrows which appears on the thumbnails of your video clip inside the edit, which illustrate the velocity in which your clip runs. The speed is also represented as a percentage at the bottom. Here in this example, a normal speed of 100% is applied, as we saw in the initial change clip speed settings. If I click on the black arrow next to this value and choose Rewind, and 100%. What has now happened is that my video clip has now expanded from 10 seconds to just under 16 seconds of duration. Let's explore how this has happened. Inside my edit are two new grey pointers. I'm going to drag my red playhead to the left one, which is positioned at the original ending of my video clip at 10 seconds. If I now drag the red playhead to the second grey pointer to the right, we can see that this is placed at just under 13 seconds of screen time. The 3 second difference here is a result of me applying a rewind pointer at the 7 second mark of my original 10 second video. What basically happens is that when the video clip gets to the 10 second mark, it reverses back to the 7 second mark, which is established at the second grey pointer here on the timeline. Once the video clip reverses back to the 7 second mark, it then plays forward to the end which was originally represented at the 10 second mark in my video clip. Since I initially selected rewind as 100% at the 7 second mark, the video clip has rewound back to this point at normal speed, hence why an extra 3 seconds have been added to the original 10 second duration. And since it takes another 3 seconds for the video clip to then switch from reverse to playing forward to the end of the video clip, from the 7 second mark to 10 seconds, an extra 3 seconds is added on at the end of my video clip here to make a total duration of 16 seconds. If I were to add a second rewind point at the 2 second mark for example here, whilst maintaining the original rewind point, in this example I will select 200% as the rewind speed. What has now happened is that two further rewind points have been established with an additional 4 seconds added on to the original 10 second duration point. At 100% it would take 8 seconds for the video clip to rewind to the 2 second mark in my video clip. Since I set the speed to 200% though, it only takes half the time. Once the video rewinds to 2 seconds, it then resumes playing in forward mode up until the subsequent rewind point, as previously demonstrated. To remove these rewind points, simply select the black arrows alongside the percentages next to these and choose Clear Speed Point. 
Bear in mind with one speed point taken away, this may affect the velocity in which your video plays if other speed points remain on your video clip. If you were to remove all speed clips, you can click on the final remaining percentage to reset the video speed to its normal form. Select Retime Controls once more to remove these coloured arrows inside your edit from the timeline. I hope that tutorial was useful to you. Thank you very much for watching.